So if a Palestinian purchases a condo in Egypt on the free market, technically uh, the person can apply for citizenship, get an Egyptian passport and immediately exit the Gaza Strip. And mind you, we are not talking Hamas over here. We are talking uh, Palestine people, right? Now, interestingly and weirdly enough, there's a situation with two, having two passports. If someone is a dual citizen, let's say an American or Canadian, the, uh, different Western countries are trying to strike a deal where they can exit through the Rafa border in Egypt and then return to their home country. So that's the interesting advantage of having two passports. If you have missed my detailed coverage on this, you can go check this video out. Now the Egyptian deal has gotten better. Instead of buying from the government, now you can buy from anyone. There's a qualifying criteria. The amount has to be a certain level and a certain threshold. And then you can pretty much become an Egyptian citizen and off you could potentially technically go to Egypt. Now, uh, very interesting. There weren't many Russians stuck in the Gaza Strip. But Putin, President Putin has a very controversial program and a lot of people from Nepal uh, are flocking to Russia to grab this citizenship opportunity. Now, before you had some weird military situation and now the whole thing has changed. There's interestingly some stuff going on in Europe and a lot of YouTubers, the top YouTubers, the ones with millions and millions of subscribers, they're making their content, their video, there are a lot of uh, American politicians, I mean, other politicians as well, but particularly big bigs from the US are grabbing the citizenship, a lot of celebs, a lot of different kind of people. I personally get a lot of uh, citizens from this part of the world, especially the military, ex-military people actually looking at this as an option. And weirdly enough, well, I don't know what the fascination is. Now I have a lot of content off late on this. If you've missed my video on what this matter is, you can check this video out. But weirdly enough, a lot of the ordinary people are going to, ah, this is, this is not recognized. They're going to laugh at it. They're going to make fun of it. And that's perfectly understandable. This is not for the masses. This is not for the regular ordinary people. This is for currently, this is for the top people, like the top YouTubers, the politicians and stuff like that. Once this gets recognized, and if it does, and obviously I'm not saying that you should get this or this is going to be recognized, but let's say for just, let's say that this is recognized in some capacity. Now that passport does have it and this is what the president says and i personally spoke with the president and if you have missed my detailed conversation with him you can check this video out but when i spoke to him he mentions that there's 45 countries that this passport or 40 to 45 countries that this tax passport can get you in but once this is available to the masses they're going to be selling this for cheap, right? It's, the prices are going to get drastically bumped up, at which point you would not afford it. And then you will continue to criticize it that, hey, it's not a good option. You know, this is better and that is better. So that is what regular people do, uh, ordinary people do. And the people who are slightly weird, right? And they're usually on the top. They look at smaller things and they pick things up before they go on the top. So that's how the world works. And that's why you have the, you know, the few elite people on one side because they move fast, because they see, they can see through, they can read through opportunities. And sometimes there is no opportunity. They just grab it because it is up for the grabs and your ordinary or regular people. A lot of regular people watch my channel. A lot of extraordinary people watch my channel too. But uh, the difference between extraordinary and regular people is that regular people are always late. They wait for something to come up and then they decide to go for it, at which point they cannot afford such options. So it's pretty interesting. I'm not saying you should get it. Take a look at what's going on, right? You got to be aware of the news, what's happening in Europe. I'm not saying it's a good option. Go get it. No, not at all. You decide what you want to do. And there are other options, right? There's uh, immediate citizenship options all around the world. The three particular ones that I have recently started talking about. One is my favorite, Mexico. I'm not saying you should get it. I'm saying it's my favorite, Mexico. Second is Estonia, right? The, yes, immediate citizenship is possible in Estonia for few people, elite people. It's not for everyone. 
for regular people there's usual residency and I've covered all five options in this video you can go and check this one out and then Serbia is the more affordable option for a lot of regular people again you do have citizenship by exception which is for the elite but for regular people there's the three-year route if you've missed that all important three-year route it comes with a flexible residency to citizenship you can take a look at the Serbian video but a lot of Nepali people are going and grabbing that opportunity right or wrong completely out of the scope of this but let's say a Palestine person wants to take advantage wants to pledge support for the Russian cause and they decide to take on this free citizenship. It's very interesting to see how President Putin might react to that scenario. Would he be compelled to try negotiating a deal with Egypt, where let's say a few people are interested in moving to Russia, they want to participate in the larger Russian cause. Uh, is the president of Egypt going to negotiate a deal with Russia? Because obviously he is negotiating deals with all the Western nations to get all these dual citizens, the people who have two passports, particularly the second one being from US, Canada, etc. But when it comes to Russia, does is Russia interested in striking a similar deal for it, you know, getting people out? Now, obviously, President Putin is not going to ship passports to these people to exit. But if there's a deal where, let's say, they are participating in the Russian cause maybe they're allowed to let go but that is something that has to be thought right it it is not there in place right now but with the exceeding amount of diplomatic pressure that has been put on Egypt to let people exit it's going to be very dramatic very interesting to see if Putin is going to work on any such deal with Egypt now, if you have missed that all important coverage on what that free Russian citizenship is all about and I'm not recommending any of this uh, this is news coverage you got to be aware if you missed that coverage you can hop onto this video and check this one out i hope you enjoyed this coverage if you did give me a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed to my channel and catch you in this next one